Hey guys, what's up? Tase Bauder here. We are now in this second game of this April 7, 2022 NBA game day. We got Philadelphia 76ers with a record of 49 wins and 30 losses, visiting Toronto Raptors, displaying a record of 46 and 33. The game will be at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, so that's 7.30 a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller, please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right, so let's uh, take a look at the uh, uh, standings real quick before we discuss these two teams. Starting with Philadelphia 76ers, they are at number four in the Eastern Conference. For their last 10 games, they have won six. Uh, so they're, they're actually doing good. Not only that, approaching this game, they are on a three-game winning streak. While Toronto Raptors, they are right behind Philadelphia at number 5. For their last 10 games, they have won 7. Approaching this game, they're also coming off a win. On this game, Toronto Raptors would have the home court advantage. In terms of momentum, mm, I gotta give a slight advantage towards Toronto Raptors because they have more wins for the past 10 games. In terms of fatigue, well, both teams uh, are coming off their rest day. So let's take a look at the injury list for both teams. For Toronto Raptors, uh, there are two uh, players listed down here. Both are listed as questionable. Uh, those are Oji Anunobi and Yuta Watanabe. All right. Again, Utah Watanabe, OG Ananobi, both listed as questionable for Toronto. Well, for Philadelphia 76ers, there's one player listed here, and uh, it's uh, Thibault, and Thibault is out for this game. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm looking at the spread now. Um, it opened up with the minus three for the... Um, Home team, Toronto Raptors, but as we speak, it is now at minus 1.5. This one's going to be tough because in the first place, uh, these two teams are actually close. Uh, Philadelphia at number 4, Toronto Raptors at number 5. Um, you can take a look at their form. It's almost the same. Uh, Toronto winning 7 out of their last 10. Philadelphia winning 6 out of their last 10. So, yeah, this one's really close, man. So I think the, um, the spread of minus 1.5 is just fair. Um, <laughs> it, it's it's gonna be tough, um, but I'm gonna side with Toronto Raptors in here, um, because of uh because of three things. Number one, um, they are at home, um, and no matter what you say, uh, the the home crowd would always be a deciding factor, especially if the two teams uh, who are actually going at it are you know are close, just like this one. Number two, the absence of Thibel. Uh, in the absence of Thibel, uh, that would mean that uh, either um, Flynn Vliet or uh, uh, Garrett Trent Jr. would actually be, not really have a freedom, but, you know, Thibel is one of those uh, premier defenders that they have for, the, for either of those two guards. So, Toronto Raptors can actually figure out a way on how to, you know, on how to make at least one of those two uh, shooting, uh, premier shooting guards that they have uh, break away. And then uh, lastly, um, I just believe that Toronto Raptors just have the, you know, just have the, um, the momentum. Um, I be, I'm a huge fan of momentum, man. Toronto Raptors, they have been winning a lot of games. Uh, there were even some games that uh, nobody expected them to win, but they did win. Um, Philadelphia 76ers, uh, they're right, you know, they're right at it. But I think Toronto Raptors is a bit hotter. Uh, so to speak against Philadelphia 76ers but again this is this is going to be very close this is going to be very hard but I'm putting my money on Philadelphia 76ers and sorry Toronto Raptors minus 1.5 I'm sorry I got confused there again Toronto Raptors minus 1.5 peace out pase love and god bless